My name is Hidayat Arghandabi. Today I want to talk about Rider. Rider is a .NET centric uh, ID. It's made by JitBrain company. You can search for JitBrains in the Google and it will take you to this web page. JitBrain is a world leading producer. Its famous product is IntelliJ IDEA for Java. It's made for Visual Studio plugin. Sharper can be used with Windows only. Here you can search for the languages and uh, solutions, supports, and uh, we will click on the tools. These tools are made by IntelliJ or JitBrains company. Uh, in the IntelliJ platform, they can be all used for different purposes for C and uh, for data, for Golang, PHP, for Python and Rider, that's a .NET centric application and these are .NET and Visual Studio plugins ReSharper can be integrated to Visual Studio for Windows only it have code analysis, code fix, ref code refactoring, code assistance and code generation Rider is a standalone .NET centric ID it's built on IntelliJ platform in case you have Mac or you have a Windows PC or we have a Linux, you can use a Rider uh, ID for .NET. It's a commercial application, but it's free for students and Microsoft MVPs and for open source. I already have installed this ID to my machine. Let's start this ID and create an application. I have already created a folder on desktop by, with the name of .NET testing app and this is my Raider application it's licensed to my personal account I will create a new solution here you can see the previous files I have worked with here we can create a new file open as project or a solution I will create open solution Here we have different selection. We can create a class library, a console application, a unit test project, and a .NET Core web application. Here we have .NET standards. Here we can create an ASP.NET web application. Here we have ASP.NET Core, and here we have ASP.NET. And here we can create uh, projects related to Xamarin. I will create .NET console application. I will name it console app one, and I will choose the location for this under user MacBook desktop .NET testing app. I don't need to create a Git repository for this project, and the language will be C sharp. Rider also support F sharp and which basic, and the framework will be .NET. Core 2.1 and I will create this project. As you can see, the project is created. Here I have the Explorer menu, and here I can see my project tree. I have this console app one, and where I have dependencies and program.cs. Before I want to run the program, I will go, to, go here and in run menu, I will click the run and I will choose the framework. For the first time, if you are working with the project, you need to find your .NET Core, uh, you need to find your .NET Core environment. Since all the settings are made before for me, I will just run. And I can see the output of this application. Now I want to create a method to add all the numbers in an array. So this function will be static. A static function which will return an integer with the name of addition. 
it will take an integer array as a parameter the na array name will be called numbers and here I would make create a variable called sum where I will hold the summation of these numbers and I will equalize it to zero and for each for each number and numbers array sum will be equal to number and I will return sum in here I will create an array of number int numbers array which equal is new array and I'll put some number 5 3 and 2 which will equalize which will equal to 10 and now let's run the program I should get an output of 10 no I need to call the function in order to get the output of 10 so I would say sum uh, I would say int sum here equal as call to the addition function and send them the numbers array so I will take this array and I will send it to this addition function or method now I will write this to a screen the console dot write line you can see the intelligence is working very good and it is helping me so much so I can give here a message I can use here the addition result and the result is uh, I would place here the sum variable so uh now let's run this we can also run this application from here or we can run this from here let's run from here and the reason is 10 as expected so now let's work on the code refactoring as i told you before uh in rider has great tools for code fixing code smell and it gives us efficient code uh, so let's refactor this code by clicking over here I can get a hint it's saying it is telling me use var in place of int if we use var its type will be selected during the compilation so we can use var here we can come here we can use var here we can come here and we can also use here var and it's fixed automatically so we can come here and for each we can use for but uh, actually we can use link you here uh, this needs to supposed to give us a link you state so we can refactor that as well we can remove braces we can use for as it's telling me and we can use link to expression so now it's returning number uh, that sum function and uh, we can convert this to link you or we can convert this back to the uh, for each statement so we can change this this way let me see how can I make this it is telling me you can make this type a uh, enumerable of int so this will be more efficient during compilation so let's save it and let's run the program again and we have more faster compilation time so uh, this compiler is working really great you can see here the unit test and the projects 
from terminal you can do some terminal activities for .NET Core and with Nuggets you can find a package and install it to your dependencies when you click on the dependencies you can add the reference to another project suppose you are working with an entire uh, entire layer project and here you can also manage the NuGet packages this is how this application work and you can find the average of the numbers and uh, maybe maybe you don't want to return anything maybe you want to use void and you want to uh, print this on this you can take this console log from here and you can put it in here and we'll take this number and I can put this in here oh no I can take this part and now since my function is void I will just call it directly so let's run this code the same code with a different aspect I didn't use the uh, return I just print this console log in here so you can refactor your code more and more with this program and it gives you amazing hints uh, and it helps you very much uh, you we have other tools here for uh, with runs we have version control system here we have tools like uh, for nuggets we can install we can change the scripts of ID and the code is completely open source and we can refactor for example suppose I took this code here and uh, I put this in here so it's work because now the number in this context is this number but suppose I delete this part now I don't have this I want to refactor this code and I want to move this to a new method so when you select this right click on this and we have refactor here refactor this the shortcut for this is shift Mac R so we hit the shift Mac R and it's telling the extract a new method so yeah what's the method name suppose we name it add so next and this is how it works it creates a method for you uh, it works uh, if you want if you create here a new class suppose we have a class person and we have suppose some properties for this class uh, string person name suppose we have a class like that and uh, I should write this smaller so suppose we have a class like that and we want to move this to a new file I'm sorry I should write it capital so I want to move this class to a new file you just click here and move this to person.cs now person.cs is a new class here so it's really helping you to write code more efficiently more clean and maintain the project very well thanks for watching this video if you are interested in watching visual studio for mac click at the top right set right click at the top right side of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel amazing videos are coming about software development have a good time see you in next one